All right, so I've been working on the uh, roof for the cab here. I went ahead and done some pre-wiring and got some lights uh, installed. It's a lot easier to do it while it's uh, laying here on sawhorses than it is while it's on the tractor. So I took some ratchet straps, put some uh, foam padding here on the corners, made an X out of it, got my center point, and uh, we're gonna lift it up with the crane on top of the cab here. So I want to go around and show you real quick inside here what we've got done. So I did a, did some pre-wiring as well. I went ahead and just got my all my wiring ran and out the front here. And here's where it's coming out of the, the harness from the uh, panel down here, your dash panel. So I've got all my wiring ran. So basically, should just be able to set the cab right on top and uh, run some wire through and then set it right down and then connect it so that's what we're getting ready to do we'll flip over to the time lapse uh, camera here in just a second and we'll get this uh, cab roof put on so here we go we're using the uh, crane to hoist it in place and as I set it down, I'm going ahead and poking out the uh, wires for the lights and uh, got it set down in place here. Checking the back out, I'll have to go around on the edges here and put the rivets in that hold the roof on. And then on either side, there are two lift points that have a three quarter inch uh, bolt that will anchor those to the cab. So now I'm just going through and um, getting the straps off of the roof and then we'll start uh, wiring up the uh, lights on the front so I'm getting those all connected up down here behind the dash I'll go ahead and make up my ends and put my heat shrink on and get those tied into the dash panel so that we have all of our power and flashers and ground and everything that we need that we've already pre-wired inside the cab so I'm getting that finished up here. And then once that's done, um, go back inside and give it a test. Make sure that we've got everything functional. Th again, thanks for watching. This is, this is uh, part four, which concludes the year-round cab restoration and the install on the 190 XT. Please leave a comment, hit your like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when the next video is uploaded.